All right, well, I'm really excited to be here with Jerry Callahan, CEO of HeWorks. Jerry, I've been following you guys for a few years now, since, ever since you showed up at CES with the, the little Tetra dishwasher, right. which kind of stole the show back when you guys showed up with it. And you guys are getting close to delivering that thing. That's right. It uses your proprietary water heating technology. You have a company called HeWorks, which did tankless water heaters, and you, you put that into a small form factor dishwasher. Tell us about it. Yeah, so actually this particular version doesn't use our tech. The okay, it doesn't use it, okay. Well. And the reason is, is because what we're doing is we're, some of the changes that we've just made recently in, with uh, Tetra are, uh, we now have fan drying. Okay. So we'll have heated fan drying, but there'll be some other cool stuff in the next version, probably two years down the road. Um, you know, we've been working a lot on the chemistry and really the biggest delay we've had is working with BASF, you know, the biggest chemical company in the world and del delivering this. Or Getting the deter detergent modules at the right detergent dosing modules. Stuff, dosing Yeah, stuff, because yeah. there's like there's like chelates and enzymes and surfactants, and actually when they're all mixed together into the detergent, they actually destroy each other chemically yeah. over time. Um, and enzymes like to be injected in at like 50 to 58 degrees centigrade. Other than that, they're like, eff efficacy really isn't all that good. So we're actually able to take each one of those chemistries and put it in at the right time at the right temperature. And so we just got some results back here from a third party. The Tetra, the Tetra system um, actually cleans 30% better than any dishwasher in the world. For, and forget about the fact that we use, you know, do th three complete place settings with three liters of water. Yeah, yeah. Just from a pure performance perspective. So we're awfully excited about that now. What I really thought was exciting about a small form factor dishwasher that used very little water was this idea of using bringing something to like dense urban environments where you don't have a lot of space the fact that it actually was very resource economical like you didn't waste a ton of water and so I think that was and it just looked the design was great um, it was a very cool design you guys made a few adjustments to the design but it, was, it stayed pretty true generally to the way it looked I think when you kind of had that was a frog or whoever did frog that design. Yep. you did that original design it stayed pretty true to that a little bit different though right yeah, so what we found out was that, um, uh, and originally it was just two place settings. Right. What we found out was we could actually get three place settings using three liters of water instead of two place settings with four liters of water, or a gallon if you remember yeah. it was. Um, just because of the way we're able to package the dynamics. And so, you know, more often than not, it's going to be two place settings, but just a two place setting dishwasher didn't allow you to put in like salad balls, like mixing balls and stuff like that. So you still got to take that to the sink. Yeah. So it kind of defeats yeah, yeah. the whole sustainability part yeah. of it. One of the other design features we've made though is actually, if you remember, the lid came off as one piece, yeah. which sort of limits people who can't always put it on a countertop if there's a, if there's a cabinet yeah, above yeah, it. Yeah. So now we have, it's the same ID, same industrial design look, but actually um, the front panel now just comes off. Okay. So you load the dishes from the side, which is gonna make it a lot easier. And you know, okay. the lid got to be a little bit bulky. We were worried about people like dropping the lid. And, and okay, so when will we be able to order this thing? When can I have one in my house? You can order it now. Uh, we're gonna we're, the plan now. You know, some of our supply chain issues in the world okay. is to start shipping in late May, early June. Oh wow! So you're gonna start shipping in late May, early June. Yeah. That's great. You also have the craft portable. So you have uh, this portable beverage warmer, the craft, yeah. right? So tell du tell us about where that is. Duo. So Duo oh, is the actually du the Duo. I apologize. Duo. That's okay. Um, duo has a hot and cold filtered water, right? Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. you tilt it one okay. way and hot water comes out instantly. And we actually literally that yesterday got. A utility patent for that. Okay. Which is much more valuable than a design patent for a for a device that does what it does. And so we're doing a whole new iteration of our technology on it, which I really can't share with you now. But when we can, you'll be the first one we call. Um, but it actually will do a couple more things than just heat water when Duo comes out. And so we're looking for that probably in Q4 this year. And is it water only, or is it? Can you do other beverages? Well, that's part of the trick. Okay. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so it, how is it different from from ember right so like you know that you have the ember kind of coffee warmer sure. is it more of a kind of a, a server or what, what's the difference well so it's a it's, it's right now it's about a liter of water or okay. whatever kind of liquid you want yeah, to put yeah. in which is part of the spoiler alert yeah um and what we do is we heat it on demand what ember does is keep whatever you pour in there at the temperature kind of that, that warm. constant temperature i mean okay. it can heat it if you bring it in cold but it's not designed to it's meant to right contain so you can keep it cold for like a day uh, and then all of a sudden you want to warm up your tea or, or your hot water, and then you press a button and it kind of works. No, actually, it. it's just got a mercury switch. You just pick it up and tilt it. Oh, okay. And, it come, and you set whatever temperature you want, like, you know, in, in, in Fahrenheit, you know, like, you know, or I'm sorry, in centigrade, like 93 to 98 degrees centigrade is like the ideal temperature for brewing 
um, coffee. Yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. set it like 94 for Sumatran coffee or 96 for Vietnamese coffee, whatever it is, to optimize the flavor cycle. Um, and then it just pours it out instantly at, at, the, at the exact temperature you want. So there's no like waiting for it to heat up. So it goes from just room temperature or kind of whatever ambient yeah, temperature. You can leave it in the refrigerator. Up to like instant that temperature you have in, in that fast? Yes, as fast as you tilt it, yeah. How does it do that? Like, well, that's the part of the trick with the new iteration of the technology. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. That is different. It's very okay. cool, yeah. And that technology we can use for lots of other devices like, um, you know, hot water at a hands-free faucet, you know, where you where the water is going to leave the system, right? What we call flow-through heating as opposed okay. to, like, okay. heating in a water tank or the water stays in the tank. So That's very cool. pretty cool stuff, yeah. So expanding from a company that did water heaters to these new consumer devices, what is the biggest lesson you learned? Imagine, like... <laughs> this dishwasher Tetra like kind of blew up and kind of got viral. Much different. I mean, you had a lot of success with your HeWorks traditional business. What have you learned with all these new products and kind of going to market? Well, you know, ultimately our, our goal is to be a licensing company. Okay. We developed, we got into the water heating business because we couldn't find any company that wanted to believe that our technology worked, even though you could test it and find out that it worked. We're like, well, we'll just get in the water heating business. Yeah. Right? Um, and so um, the hardest part, I think, is finding the right partners. You know, we, we're going to launch HeatWorks, we're going to launch Tetra with our brand in, in the U.S. and then in, in Find May partners and then, overseas, maybe. And find partners okay. overseas. And a lot of the big companies, unfortunately, aren't innovative enough. I mean, the R&D people love it, some of the marketing people, but when it gets up to the C-level, they're like, well, we already, this is one of the biggest appliance companies will tell me, we already have 50 different dishwashers. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing's like Tetra. Yeah. Yeah, but we already have 50. Yeah, but, you know, so you end up with yeah. the yeah, but game. So it's been the frustrating part about, you know, companies that talk about innovation and don't walk the talk. So, but I mean, it's been it's been a gas. We've got a great team. You know, Frog Design. We've got a lot of great people in the organization. And you know, I mean, just being chosen by BSF to be a partner in this thing is a huge deal for us. I mean, I mean, yeah, that, there's, there's an innovative company, biggest chemical company in the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. is innovating and they're spending a lot of time and resources. And that's an, so we, we did go into too much detail there, but you guys partnered with them to do the modules to get the dosing right for the detergent. So it'll be a subscription model. So if I have the Tetra and I want to get detergent, I kind of uh, I will have it sent to me over through the mail. How is that going to work? Is it a subscription? Yeah, it'll go through the mail. Yeah, so it's actually it's, it's about it's about twenty washes in a cartridge. Okay. So one cartridge has all three chemistries got in it, got it, and it doses. It depends on what cycle you're in. It does different different amounts. Um, and what will happen is, so it's not going to be Wi-Fi connected, but it'll be Bluetooth connected. Okay. So what will happen is, it, you can set through the app because there'll be an app that you can use to start and stop and okay. see how many washes you have left. You can say, hey, ping me when I have seven washes left, got and then it. it'll. Then you use your phone or your, your tablet phone to go to the website. Phone hey, we need more. Right. Okay. So rather than a subscription model, because subscription models are, I think, are kind of problematic from because it assumes a certain, you know, usage model, yeah. and some people. It's true monitoring of where you are. True monitoring exactly the, where that's you are. Great. Right. So, yeah. hey, well, uh, Jerry, excited to see the Tetra make it a market, and more people can find out more at HeWorks.com. My, my HeWorks.com. My HeWorks.com. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Great. Thank you so much, Michael. Really appreciate it.